More women these days say they are suffering from something they call breast implant illness. Yeah, it's a wide range of unexplained health problems they believe are related to their implants. And a woman in Pearland is sharing her story, hoping she can help others. Here's Marcelina Benito. In 2016, Cindy Leach made a decision. After all the kids, uh, you know, us women just want to kind of fix things. <laughs> the hardworking mother of four and bodybuilder decided to replace her saline breast implants with silicone textured implants. I felt fully confident and safe about using silicone. But things did not go according to plan, did they? No. About two years later, her health dramatically declined. Two bouts of bronchitis, asthma, headaches, skin sensitivity, all of it seemingly out of nowhere. And then eventually uh, every muscle in my body hurt from my head to my toe. She had no unusual symptoms in her breasts, but late this summer, friends and family encouraged her to see a doctor to get tested. I was told, well, go get a mammogram and ultrasound just to get your implants checked out. That mammogram changed everything. This is as bad as it gets because it's completely ruptured. Plastic surgeon Dr. Charles Polson realized Cindy's right implant burst and was leaking badly. The implants had to be removed. Surgery revealed the extent of the rupture. The rupture was everywhere and he also had to clean it out of my ribs. I did at that moment wonder is this why I'm sick? Immediately after surgery, Cindy noticed many of her symptoms were suddenly gone. Dr. Polson says it's a pattern among women choosing explant surgery. I am seeing more of that over the past year. There, there have been an increasing number of patients complaining of breast implant illness, which is a relatively a new term. There's no real science yet linking Cindy and other patients' array of symptoms to implants. Breast implant illness isn't an official diagnosis or disease, but some women are finding removing the implants vastly improves their health. With uh, the severity of what happened, there's no way I would put a product back in me like that. Physically, she's recovering. Emotionally, the road will be harder. Every day is a new emotional and mental challenge. More than 500,000 women choose implants every year in the U.S. Cindy hopes women do their research and think twice about what they're putting in their bodies. Maybe my story can help another woman because I wouldn't wish this on any woman. If you have unexplained symptoms that you feel might be linked to implants, you can fill out this form and you can send it into the FDA. We have a link to that form up right now on KHOU.com. Back to you.